Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome to today's episode of Tech Savvy. And we are looking today at using WeTransfer. What is WeTransfer? Well, it is a um, tool that enables attachments of larger files. When you try attaching a um, large video or a photograph that's been taken on a posh camera or even another camera uh, of lesser kind or maybe some music, all of those things uh, take up large amounts of space. And for many, many, many clients, male clients, um, I think a virgin male, um, Blue Yonder, uh, they block it because it's too large. And therefore, how do you send that wonderful shot you might have had of your grandchild or your children that you want to share with friends? You could uh, share it on Facebook and other things like that, but maybe you want to share it privately. Um, WhatsApp is another good tool for doing this, so you might want to try that as well. Um, WeTransfer is, is free at, at uh, a level where you could share these things, um, and uh, I just want to demonstrate how that works. So I'm going to share my screen and we're going to be using Microsoft Outlook um, as I don't have much personal details on there and therefore uh, it won't cause any difficulty with um, GDPR. So let's close down this window and all of this information. I forgot that we had this in the background and these and this and this and this. Wow, should have closed all that down before. So I'm going now to um, Google my browser and I'm going to WeTransfer. If you do a search for it, it's all one word. And no matter what it says at the bottom, WeTransfer. And uh, I'm just going to stop sharing a second because what I want to do is just come back to our screen here and just switch off the bit at the bottom and um, I don't think I can switch my name off, or can I? No, they're all uh, all there. So you might have to put up with my name being there. Um, so let's uh, let's go now, and I'll share again, and we will go straight to um, the Chrome tab that we need to go to. Here we go. Let's try that. So here we are. We transfer. So I click on the we transfer item here. And uh, it's free to sign up. Um, what I did was I signed in with my Google account and uh, you can see a history of things that I've sent. So you, you can sign up via your automatic means of doing things or you can set up with an email address of your choosing. So the first thing I need to do is to select my files. So we're going to select each one in turn and the first one is uh, a music file. So be careful with this because of copyright and you might not want to do this. You might prefer not to. So don't if you're not sure whether you're going to breach copyright or not. I'm just going to send it to myself and I'm going to send it to my Outlook address uh, music file as a test. OK, so. I have filled in what I want the file to be. I've chosen it and now I'm going to transfer it. So now it has transferred and it's gone to my email client. And as the graphic says, I can sit back and relax. So I'm going to my email client and I shall do a. Um, yeah, I've just done a refresh. And here is the file that I've seen. So your recipient, the person you're sending your file to, will get this email from you and it will say, get your files. So when I click on that, it'll take me to all the files that I've got here. So ready when you are, music test, and you can see the word has changed to download. So if I click on download, it'll put it into the bottom part of the window, but also you can see that it will appear in downloads and I can overwrite my file there. So you just click on save and that's where it goes. So that's uh, that's the first uh, we transfer. 
So going back to we transfer here, I have the option to keep on going if I want to. This is the place where I started. So I'm going to send another one. So again, the, I've got to start the process. I go to add files and this time I'm going to choose a photograph. So I'm going to go down to my picture library and I'm going to choose um, a picture here of a screenshot. OK, so I'm going to attach that. It could be a photograph, could be a screenshot, could be an image, all of those things. And again, I'm going to send it to my Outlook address and put a little message uh, screenshot for a test. OK, so again, all I have to do is click the transfer button and it goes away. So there we are, the transfer screenshot, and it's now gone to my email client. So again, I would click on my email client and that would, uh, that would happen with that. Okay, just gonna stop the sharing, come back to whole screen again. Not sure if that last bit took because I only was looking at the web page. So I'm going to make sure I share all my screen on this particular item. Better safe than sorry, eh? So here we go again. So I've got my WeTransfer file and I'm now going to click on my email client because that's where I was. And if you can see this, this will appear and another file will come in that we've been working on. Let's have a look, see if it's worked. OK, screenshot for test. There it is. It was actually waiting for me. So again, I can just click on get file and I've got the download option and I'll work exactly like the last time. So I will click one more time to download. It started. It opens up the window and I can place it wherever I like it to be in my uh, emails, for instance, for this. I might want to go to photo pictures and I might want to put it back where I had it in AbilityNet. OK, so that can be saved there. That's a JPEG, which is the standard image format. OK, now the final one that we're going to choose is a video, which is probably the most important one out of all the set of things. Remember, I'm just using wetransfer.com. So let's send another one and it says continue. So we click again, and this time I'm going to send a video. And uh, with the videos, I, I've got a, uh, one here preset, which I can then send across Easter pictures. And if I click that, I then have attached it, but I haven't actually chosen the email address. So I make sure I do that. And this is Easter pics for a test. And I click on the transfer button again, and then this will get transferred down. You can see it being delivered in that way. You can see here are the transfer details. Now, please note that these transfers are time limited. Uh, the server doesn't keep this information, so it is wiped every week. So the person has to pick it up. So be sure that you've chosen the right email address for them and uh, you need to check it and, and just check that everything is correct in the email address for this to work. So again, if I now go to my emails, I should find that that's come through Easter picks. And if I click on get your files, it will now come and then I can put it somewhere to receive it just like the other files and uh, you can see I can place it anywhere in my video section, wherever I want it to be. So I would click save and then that would happen, but it's pointless as I'm sending to myself and that's what I've got there. So stop sharing, come back to you again. Um, as I said before, this is completely free. Um, there are, you can buy the pro version, which is a monthly cost. Um, I don't know how many downloads you can do, um, but I think it's pretty good. I'll try and have a look at the information regarding
products and we'll share this screen if I find something useful there that you could see. Um, endless tools, one possibility. Um, see everything in, you can actually use an app called Collect, which uh, is for the iPad so, and iPhone, which will allow that to happen. Uh, the free account, it's just for us. There's nobody else involved. Send up to two gigabytes and we transfer. Um, so there we are. It's uh, it's it's limited to two gigs. If you want more, up to twenty gigs, then you would play pay something like twelve dollars a month, or one hundred and twenty dollars a year. That's the information I can find there, and you can have up to uh, one terabyte of storage as well under the pro account. So, I I would suggest yes for most users the simple. Um, account that we've got here, which is free, um, can suffice for what you would need it for. So I hope that tech savvy was useful. And uh, I hope that you will have success in transferring your photographs, your videos, and your pictures and images and and um, other things as, and other things as well. And do remember that WhatsApp is another means of transfer. And uh, we have covered uh, how you can access it on a PC even. Um, but the major problem with WhatsApp is the amount of um, storage that we put on your device. So believe, please be aware it's very memory hungry on your device. Whereas WeTransfer works on your computer essentially and it, it takes up little space because it's held in the cloud. Then you're just transferring materials via the cloud to the email address. Well, if you have any questions, um, I will run a watch party after this. And uh, do, don't do forget to look at our, um, our blog and, and uh, on my website, on the media site there, um, that we run three different kinds of information blocks. The, uh, the app show, the assistive technology show, which um, demonstrates the use of assistive technology products. And uh, the Smiles podcast, which deals on current assistive technology. And of course, Tech Savvy, which is, is designed for those who want to just know more about using their computer. And so I just want to say thank you for watching and good luck and see you next week. Bye for now.